Why do you think it's important to teach listening to students? Well, I think this is um, rather obvious in the world that we live in now. Lis listening has become very important with the Internet. A lot more information is now presented through the listening channel. It used to be that we read books, we read the newspaper, now we listen to a lot of this information online. So listening has become very important, especially in the last 10 to 20 years as, we've, um, as the internet has become more and more common. The world's plugged in now. You watch people walk by and they're plugged in, they're listening on their headphones. It's, it's all about listening now. So much of the information is only available in English and it's really important that we're able to uh, listen and comprehend English. The other reason I think it's important that students learn about listening is because listening is a big part of speaking. So as I mentioned earlier, if you're taking a test, a speaking test, and you can't understand the questions, it's pretty unlikely that you're going to get a very good speaking score. And if you're unable to comprehend the, the uh, views of others, it's pretty hard for you to contribute to come some kind of discussion. So listening is really important if you want to be a person that is involved in interacting with others. Professor Oki pointed out that listening is an important way to gain access to information in the world today. The Internet brings news, information, and entertainment to the world using oral language. Many people are plugged in, as he said, to their devices. They are listening to someone and something on their headphones almost all the time. And there is just a lot to listen to in English. A lot of the news comes in English, a lot of what's going on, a lot of the communication between people in different countries happens in English. So anyone who wants to participate is wise to learn to listen in English. He also pointed out that listening is essential for speaking. When someone says they speak a language, they really mean that they can both speak and listen in the language. To engage in conversation, a speaker has to be able to understand what the other person is saying. And to have a good conversation, a person has to really understand very well what the person is saying so that they can make appropriate contributions to the conversation. So in an important sense, listening is part of speaking. I asked Professor Oki what teachers need to know about listening. He pointed out that listening requires multiple different processes and that understanding these is important for teaching. Let's listen.